Hey there, beautiful people. This is Lindy Ford, clinical nutritionist, registered dietitian, and nutrition detective. It seems like these days everyone has jumped on the gut health bandwagon, right? Well, I can assure you sincerely from my heart that I have not done that. I have been studying gut health for years and it is increasingly impressive to me. I want you to know more about what's happening with your gut. And what we're going to do is I'm going to have three different videos. We're going to talk today about mood, then we're going to talk about weight control, and then we're going to just kind of tie it all together so that I give you some specific things that are going to help you increase the health of your gut and really increase your health in general. So today, like I said, I'm going to talk more about mood. And um, before I do that, just to know that if aliens were to swoop down and they were to scoop us up and squish us in to our most basic component, what they would find is that we are mostly bacteria. We're actually more bacteria than we are human. We have like 100 trillion bacterial cells and only 10 trillion human cells. So that's how important our bacteria are. And what I'm going to talk about, and I, might, I will say this a lot, is the microbiome. So you've got to know what the microbiome is. Basically, it's the gut. It's the collection of the genes of our gut or an intestinal flora. So when I say microbiome, it means gut. And this is so important and so much more important than we ever realized it. Because our gut, our intestinal flora, actually is uh, aids us in the absorption of vitamin and minerals. It actually even cr it creates vitamins like vitamin B12 and, and vitamin K, but it helps us with absorption. So I tell people this all the time, you are not what you eat, you are what you absorb. And so many of my patients are coming in with vitamin and mineral deficiencies, not because they're not taking enough of these, uh, of these vitamins and minerals into their body, but because their guts can't absorb those, those nutrients. So that is one of the reasons why it is so important. I get a lot of my information from the NIH Human Microbiome Project, as well as the American Gut Project. These are brilliant scientists who have studied and studied and studied the gut and have looked at all the research and have come up with so many research studies. So about two years ago, I, uh, I was asked by some friends of mine to, to do a big gut health seminar. I really thought we'd have 25, maybe 30 people show up. We had hundreds of people show up to this thing, right? Everyone wants to talk about the intestines. I was so shocked. But what I did is I just took different research studies and showed people how these scientists were actually showing the, um, the incredible ways that the gut were affecting so many processes in our body. So the first one I, t I told you I was going to talk about is mood. And one of the big things about the gut, our microbiome, and how we think in our anxiety, depression rates, and our mood is because there is something called the vagus nerve. Okay, so the vagus nerve runs from the gut to the brain. We don't really understand exactly how this happens, but they talk to one another. They literally talk to one another. The other thing that we need to know, so important to know, is that your gut contains a lot of neurochemicals like serotonin, serotonin and GABA and norepinephrine and those kind of neurochemicals the same as your brain and in fact actually contain more of them. So we know that the gut's important and that could be some of the mood problems that we are experiencing because our guts are just not in great shape. Now why? Why? Why are our guts not uh, in an optimal place? There's a lot of reasons. One of the biggest reasons is because of prebiotics. Nope, I didn't say probiotics. I said prebiotics. Now what is a prebiotic? Prebiotic is actually the food that feeds the intestinal flora or feeds the, the good bacteria in our body. So prebiotics are like fiber, mostly fiber. And um, not just any fiber, but fiber like inulin, 
and um, really good soluble insoluble fiber, but mostly fiber that's found in vegetables. Vegetables, beans, um, Jerusalem artichoke has a lot of prebiotic fiber in it. So we don't normally get enough of these foods. We're going to talk more about that. The other thing too is that we don't eat a lot of probiotic foods. And I'm not talking Dan and yogurt here. I'm just not talking Dan and yogurt. I'm talking about like uh, fermented vegetables like kimchi and sauerkraut and, and, and different fermented foods, kefir, and, and foods that really are just teeming with those microorganisms that help our gut. We don't get enough of those vegetables. The other thing too it's, it's something that we all we all experience and we all know about and we've all been told about but it's stress especially emotional stress emotional stress does affect our gut or our microbiome and so those things are one of the big reasons that we we don't um, we we don't have guts that are uh, optimal the other big one is prescription drugs and over-the-counter drugs the, you know what the biggest offenders are? We think about the f offenders being antibiotics, but actually the, the biggest offenders are drugs that treat some of the problems of our microbiome not, not being optimally healthy. Like, like they, treat, they treat the symptoms of GERD or gastrointestinal reflux disease. I have so many people come to see me with GERD. And um, some of the PPIs like, uh, like Nexium and Prilosec, actually, they, they only put a Band-Aid on the problem. They don't heal the gut. They actually create more problems down the line for so many folks. So like I said, we're gonna be talking more about the gut and about mood and, and, and about weight control, but we just need to know that the gut talks to the brain, the brain talks to the gut, there's lots of neurochemicals in there that are going to help you to feel better and to have better mood. So if you your mood isn't where it should be, maybe you need to look not just to the brain, you need to look to your gut. So if you find these videos helpful, please subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me at Lindy wellness and also that would be on Facebook and Twitter and just know this everyone deserves to enjoy optimal health